Hello and welcome to Retro Zone, the show where anything retro goes. Now today's episode was requested by the guys from Galaxy Sega as I picked up quite an interesting homebrew game. So today I'm going to be doing a gameplay video of Fixit Felix Jr. It's one of those where they released the ROM a couple of years ago and I really wanted to play it back then but I kind of always wanted the physical release but then one day I found someone who was selling it and it comes on a cart and everything and I had to buy it. So today I'm going to show you how the game looks and how it plays. So let's get the controller and hit that start button. So from general playthroughs that I've been playing so far of this this is the only negative I have to say about the release in that this opening cutscene you can't skip ever you have to sit through it every time but it's still cool to watch it's exactly like the arcade so it's still really cool and I love the movie Wreck-It Ralph as well so that was the other reason why I had to have this I remember playing it as a, uh, a ROM on a flash cart a few years ago and I said I really enjoyed it and I'm just so glad to finally have it in the collection. Now there goes the nice landers going into the, uh, the hotel. And yes it does feature the voice of John C. Riley as well which is awesome. Didn't expect that when I first played it. It's really accurate to how the uh, the arcade game actually plays as well. So we're back to start. Here comes Felix. Can't be very cubities. I can fix it. And off we go. So it's A to fix your windows. And then obviously it's just left and right to jump between the windows. In case you didn't know, the object is to fix all the windows whilst trying to dodge the uh, the bricks being thrown down by Ralph. Oh, I just got hit there. Although it, it does control really nicely, considering this is homebrew by someone, it's, it's re I have to say it's really well done. Now, as you can see on the second floor, they've added like a uh, potted plant there to slow you down because you can't jump through them to get to the next floor. The pie there, can I get to that? So I love about the game as well is it's just it's just a classic puzzle game, pretty much. I know a lot of people don't like this game, but it really is a pick up and play game. You don't really need to tell people much on how to play it, it's just literally fix the windows, press A, dodge Ralph, done. Anyone could really play this. I'm quite tempted to get my um, my, nephew, my nephew to try this because he's um, a bit of a gamer and he likes the Wreck-It Ralph movie as well so I think he'd quite enjoy this. I remember when my niece and nephew used to come over they'd um, I used to have, well I had the um, the iCade. I still got it. I don't really play on it that much. But they used to come over and play uh, Fix It Felix on the iCade. So this is uh, another fun way of playing it. And get some pie down. The pies give you. Uh, a bit of extra speed and invincibility. And with each level there's five stages, so I'm on the final stage now. And on the final stage they introduce, as you can see, the birds. If a bird hits you then you lose a life. It's very, very, very addictive this. As I said, I, um, I haven't had it long but I've spent quite a lot of time playing this. Oh no, no! Oof, that was close. Okay, are we gonna make it? Yes! Right, okay, so now you're gonna see like a little cutscene now to signify the end of the level. So, uh, Felix and Ralph are on the roof, just like in the movie. Felix gets his medal, 
Craft gets picked up by the Nice Landers and thrown. And you also see him land in the mud. Poor Ralph. <laughs> it's really fun. I, I, do, I do enjoy it because it's so because it's so simple. I, I really enjoy it. Now the levels start again. But then, but now they'll start to go faster, and they'll add in little things like on this bottom level. Now there'll be like the birds will start coming into it more, and it just starts to challenge you a bit more. So we'll just wait for uh, Felix to turn up. He thinks, "Oh, I fixed the building. Wait a minute, why did, what are you doing it again for?" I can fix it. Right, let's let's go. So Ralph's now going to be a, a lot faster. And obviously got the birds involved as well. We've also got the uh, the potted plants on the windows as well. <sighs> birds got them. This is where it starts to get quite difficult. I'm really hoping they do a, um, a Wreck-It Ralph 2. I think there's so much potential. I mean, even for... Oh, damn it. Shouldn't be talking while I'm trying to play this. Um, there's, there's a lot of potential for more in the, in the, uh, the franchise. Like, obviously, there's other video game franchises that they couldn't t touch because of various copyright. So, oh, there we go. Game over. And I try and talk about interesting stuff. But I'm not going to go back into the game because you, you basically get what the game's about. But yeah, that's Fix It Felix Jr. for the Mega Drive. Um, I was really impressed with this release. The cart looks great. The uh, the case looks great. And um, I know a lot of people go, oh, you shouldn't be playing them on that. But I play on a Retron 5 a lot as well because then I can hook it up to my HD television. And when I put the cart into the Retron 5, it even recognised it as Fix It Felix Jr. So that really impressed me. So there you go. That's Fix It Felix Jr. on the Mega Drive. Hope you enjoyed this episode and thanks for watching.